Today we are learning how to add fractions with the same denominator. Let's say we want to take one-fourth and add two-fourths. Well, to start, we could draw a model of our first fraction, one-fourth. We could draw a square and shade in one-fourth of the square. Next, we need to show ourselves adding two-fourths. So I will shade in one more fourth, two more fourths. Now I've added two-fourths. And this model represents my answer, but I need to write it as a fraction. Well, I can see that one, two, three pieces of my model are shaded. The numerator of my fraction will be three. Then I can count that there are four total pieces in my model. So the denominator of my fraction is four. The answer to this problem is three-fourths. One-fourth plus two-fourths is three-fourths. Let's practice one of these problems together. Let's figure out what 1 8 plus 5 8 equals. Well, we can start by drawing a model of 1 8. Which of these images shows 1 8? You'll draw a rectangle, break it into 8 pieces, and shade one of those pieces. Now let's add 5 8. How can I model adding 5 8? I will shade in 5 more pieces of my model. Now I have my model complete, but I need to write it as a fraction. Well, how many pieces of my model are shaded? You can count that there are six total pieces shaded, so the numerator of my fraction is six. Now how many total pieces are in the model? There are a total of eight pieces in this model, so my denominator will be eight. And now I have my answer. I can say one-eighth, plus 5 eighths equals 6 eighths. Here's another problem to practice with. Let's figure out what 2 fifths plus 1 fifth equals. Well, which of these shows how I can model this problem? First, I'll model 2 fifths. I'll draw a rectangle and shade in 2 fifths of the rectangle. To add 1 fifth, I just shade in 1 more fifth. Now that I've drawn my model, I need to write it as a fraction. Well, what fraction of my model is shaded? You can see there are three pieces shaded, so the numerator is three, out of a total of five pieces in my model, so the denominator is five. The answer to my problem is that two-fifths plus one-fifth is three-fifths. Now it's time for you to practice on your own. What is three-sixths plus two-sixths equal? Well, you would start by drawing a model. Your model should have started with 3 sixths shaded. Then you should have added 2 more sixths. To write this model as a fraction, you would see that 5 pieces are shaded, so a numerator of 5, and there are 6 pieces total, so the denominator is 6. Our answer is that 3 sixths plus 2 sixths equals 5 sixths. Now here's your last problem for this video. What does 4 eighths plus 1 eighth equal? If you start with a model, you should show four eighths. You'll shade in four pieces of your model. Then shade in one more eighth. Now this model shows us a fraction. Five pieces are shaded, so the numerator is five, and there are eight pieces total, so the denominator is eight. Four eighths plus one eighth equals five eighths. Today you learned how to add fractions with the same denominator.